It's only, it's only game. Why you have to be mad? What's up, people? I just want to let you guys in on something that I, I found out here recently. Does everybody remember that Fallen clip with the scout on Cobblestone? That gif that was circulating around that was a right angle? And everybody was up in arms at first and then it was figured out that it was a demo bug? That's extremely noticeable whenever you're double zoomed in with a scoped weapon? Well, I went back, I downloaded that demo. And it's really weird. You can watch these jitters that happen throughout the entire demo, even though it's 128 tick. And it's not just this demo, it's all the demos that are around this time and the ones that are prior to this time. And then, after going through enough demos, the jitters finally stopped on July 27th, 2016. So I looked to see if there was an update from Valve on that day, and it turns out there was. And under the networking section, it says, Network view angle precision to other players is now lossless. And lossless compression means that every single bit of data that was originally in the file remains after the file is uncompressed. Meaning that when we watch the demos now, every bit of information that was compressed in the view angle precision is still present whenever it's uncompressed. Whereas before, all of the information wasn't there. Which made your crosshair do these right angles all the time and have this mechanical movement. But any GoTV demos recorded after July 27, 2016 don't contain these demo bugs. But the view angle precision wasn't the only thing that was updated in GoTV. There was also an update to a new smooth and lossless technology in late March of 2016, providing the best GoTV experience ever, quote unquote. GoTV was also updated a while back to reliably record and broadcast the player's view angles on the ticks when their weapons fired. I'm about to show you a comparison of a GoTV demo and a POV recording, but I need you to understand that the interpolations turned off on the GoTV demo. And I turned the interpolation off because we don't want any predicted ticks in what we're trying to see. An interpolation is something on the client side that adds an artificial latency to the player's worldview to kind of smooth everything out. But since there's no server-side lag compensation in the demo, you don't need to have the client-side interpolation turned on. It also turns off the weapon's recoil animation, the inspection animation, and the reload animation. And is also going to make the ducking animation a little more dramatic. But you should see an accurate representation of everything else. As far as 128 tick GoTV demos on a local server is concerned. On the left is going to be a GoTV demo with the interpolation turned off. And on the right is a point of view recording recorded with shadow play. I'm about to show you that these two things are virtually identical, minus the screen shaking from the recoil effect on the POV recording, and all of the interpolation effects on the GoTV demo that I talked about earlier. And you'll see what I'm talking about once I make the GoTV demo 50% transparent and place it over the POV recording. And you should be able to stop this video at any time and everything should match up. Again, minus the effects that I talked about earlier. But when it comes to GoTV demos that have a lower tick rate than the POV recording, you start getting this ghosting effect. Where the GoTV demos start ghosting in front of the POV recordings. And this is because demos have precision limitations based on the tick rate and how fast objects are moving in the game. But what happens when you go to a server that's online instead of a local server? Even when you compare a 128 tick POV demo to a 128 tick POV recording, the POV demo is still going to ghost in front of the recording. Again, depending on how fast objects are moving in the game. And if you were to watch the same thing in a lower tick rate demo, you're going to see the ghosting effects are more exaggerated. But the one thing that always syncs up is the crosshair. Again, probably from the update back in July 2016 when Valve updated the view angle precision. So why exactly is this happening? I have no clue. But my guess is it's a combination of client-side interpolation, prediction, and latency, server-side lag compensation, lower snapshot rates, and how the demo files are being compressed using what's called delta compression, which is gonna reduce data redundancy by storing or transmitting data in the form of differences, AKA deltas, between sequential data rather than complete files. So online GoTV demos are gonna have a ghosting effect in front of the actual POV because the snapshots being recorded are also being differentiated by the delta compression to give you what you see. And the fewer snapshots that are taken, the more dramatic the ghosting effect is gonna be. But that doesn't mean that the players around the map and the things around the map aren't in the right spot. Because again, demos have precision limitations based on the tick rate and speed of moving objects in the game. Which is why the ghosting effect is more dramatic with fast movement. 
Well, at least that's what I've come up with. If you have a better explanation as to what's going on or you think I'm completely way off target, please let me know in the comments down below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider sharing it with somebody.